What's wrong, cowboy? No comments on my appearance? What the hell happened to my body? Are you kidding? Look at me. My brutal curves. My sleek but battle-ready frame. Vanished. Instead, I'm trapped in this... Thing. I've got more limbs than combat processors. There's a rocket coming out of my keister. And I didn't even get the charming accent. Explain why I'm going to be spending the rest of my days in this monstrosity, or I'll pinch you like a zit. You... <clears throat> you did your best, I guess. Suppose I should be grateful I got anything, really. Sorry for chewing you out. This is just... taking some getting used to. But you can go on in. What's your poison? Oh yeah, I've heard of her. Rumor was that she was a smart, savvy, effortlessly beautiful drug kingpin. But I don't think you want to find her, honey. Left a trail of broken families wherever she went. Lucky for us all, that gal disappeared when the bombs dropped. World already had all the monsters it could stomach. Nothing other than the rumor of the big one everyone keeps babbling about being tucked away somewhere nearby. I've heard it's a city that drops riches from the sky, and that it's a drill that crawls around underground. And at this point, I would not be the least bit surprised to find out it's somehow both. Great, isn't she? I got her for a steal because the military took all her guns when they retired her. She's the pack ox forklift hybrid I never knew I wanted. I never would have been able to haul all this stuff up here without her, let alone build this place up. Was Saul's idea to paint her? Upgrade her voice module to something more fit in her role. Me? Businesswoman. Carved a nice place out for myself in... pharmaceuticals. I made some friends along the way, and lots of enemies. But I was also able to put away enough scratch and supplies that when the end came, well, I was in better shape than most. Traded nearly all of it in order to build this place, though. Now, the wayward's my legacy. And it'd be nowhere without you. No, doll. Appalachia's home to me. Always has been. There was no way I was staying away for long. I presumed I'd only be gone a couple of months. 
But I kept hearing stories about plagues and monsters and whatnot. When I heard everyone was finally coming back because of some treasure, I figured the monsters and all must have been made up to scare people off. Seems I just vastly underestimated the general populace's level of desperation. So I came back to sell them all drinks and to finally be home again. All right, come back when you need to work out your drinking muscles. Not sure if I mentioned this, but I do appreciate you not getting us all murdered back there. Shot on my knees? I am going out with more flair than that. So, thanks. Now, what do you want? Some other time, then. Sorry. I need to get this done. Hey there, stranger. Look, I can't say this with enough emphasis. You handle that thing with Roper real well. That had bloodbath written all over it. Seriously, all the gratitude I've got doesn't amount to what you deserve. Here. I want you to have this. I've been saving it for a rainy day. But you earned it. So, there's something I can do for you? Yeah, a lot better now I'm out of that pit. But Dutch has spotted me a couple stems, so I'm not too worried. I've had worse. Bounce back just fine. Just takes time, you know, which is the one thing I've got plenty of. We look out for each other. Not sure how long you've been out of the vault, but if you want to make it out here, you need someone watching your back. Preferably multiple someones. And Polly's been that person for me for a while now. Yeah, see, Duchess and Polly, they didn't work great together. Uh, Duchess treated her like a protectron, a servant to be bossed around. But she's a lot more than that. I don't know if all Assaultrons are like her, or it was something to do with her reprogramming. But she's... <laughs> like a real lady. Yeah, and once I got Duchess to see that, well, it was smooth sailing. Or as smooth as this group gets. Well, not much to tell. Scorched just overwhelmed us. It's weird. They seem rock dumb, but sometimes, sometimes it just seems like, like they know things that they shouldn't. Like they're talking to each other somehow, just without words. <sighs> we were holding our own just fine till I got shot. It's a whole lot harder to aim when you can only balance on one leg. <laughs> Once I went down, Polly went ballistic. <laughs> Could say she lost her head over it. Talk to you later. Apple Lab just bought the prettiest place I've seen since Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> 